Well, getting your kids interested in learning can sometimes be tricky, but this morning Alex Ho from Sullivan Learning Center showing us a few easy ways to spark their interest in science. And Alex, you've got my interest sparked as well. <laughs> we get to do something I've wanted to do my whole life. Oh yeah. All right. So what do we have here? All right. So basically we're going to have a physical reaction here. We're going to take, um, you know, any carbonated beverage. So we, I picked Diet Coke here. The, uh, it's less in sugar, so it's going to be less sticky. And basically, when you throw in the Mentos, the, pour, right. the pores on the surface of the Mentos mix with the, uh, the fizz and the carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide is a physical reaction, and it pushes out. So Are you ready? Have, do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> How'd I do? I you think look, I nailed it. You still look it. great. They would have not let us do that if they knew it was going to make that much of a mess. So let's just take this in. Sorry, sorry to the cleaning crew in, <laughs> in advance. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, so what's fact. next? Um, so next, now, so that was a physical reaction. Now we're going to do a chemical reaction. All right. Or show a chemical reaction where it's your basic uh, baking soda and vinegar. So we took a balloon, we filled it up with baking soda, and in here is vinegar. And when they mix, there's a chemical reaction that makes carbon dioxide, kids. So um, carbon dioxide is an odorless, it is a colorless gas, and it's going to fill up the balloon. Um, side note, carbon dioxide is also pre is all ever present in our environment because plants give it off through photosynthesis. So a lot of STEM and science terms, too, that goes along with this. I love it. Very cool. The, um, I will let you basically just kind of dump the, dump the, yeah, lift that up and just let it all kind of go in there. And oh it'll my start gosh. to fill up. Look the, at that. The end. Uh, that is very cool. And it'll get bigger as you, and another thing that you can work with your kids on is you can kind of balance and play around with the mixture of baking soda and vinegar, and it'll blow up the balloon uh, based upon the varying uh, uh, mixtures that you do. I love this. This is super cool. <laughs> and this Thanks. is another cool one you brought here. Yes. So on the topic of uh, gas, so we also know there's, the kids will learn, there's different states of matter. So there's, you know, there's obviously solids, there's liquids, there's gases, and there's plasma. So this is a pretty cool one where you, where you mix uh, cornstarch with okay. water. You throw in a little bit of dye of whatever you want. Make it fun. Make it fun. Maybe some Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's some Diet Coke in there too. And you basically, you, when you mix it up, it's going to be a little bit clumpy. But as you can see, it's really cool because you can talk to your kids about, hey, so see how it's kind of formless like, yeah. like a liquid. You can pour it and once you let it all pour out, but then the cool thing about it is, when you actually pick it up, it feels like a solid. So it's going from a liquid to a solid, and you can talk about the different states of matter in that way. So My nephews would love that. They love anything gross, right? Oh yeah. That is really cool. <laughs> How fantastic. So you guys have some summer camps coming up. Yes, we have a lot of camps. So we have, this is called our maker space portion, where kids will basically go out, we'll do all sorts of fun and, uh, sometimes disgusting activities that the kids will love. And then we also have computer coding, Lego robotics classes, as well as our award-winning reading, math, and writing SAT and ACT classes too. All right, SullivanLearningCenter.com? Absolutely. All right, thanks so much for joining <laughs> us. That was a lot of fun, I appreciate it.